Priyadarshan, born Priyadarshan Soman Nair, January 1957, is an Indian film director, producer, and screenwriter. In a career spanning over three decades, he has directed more than 95 films in various Indian languages, predominantly in Malayalam and Hindi, while also having done six films in Tamil and two in Telugu. Priyadarshan began his career in Malayalam cinema in the early 1980s and was active throughout the 1980s and 1990s. Towards 2000s, he moved to Bollywood Hindi cinema and was active throughout the decade. He has done about 26 films in Hindi alone, the highest number of films done by any Bollywood director after David Dewan. In 2013, he announced that Rangrez would be his last Hindi film for a while and shifted focus to Malayalam cinema, best known for his comedy films. Priyadrishan has also experimented with some action and thriller films. His collaborations with Mohanlal were highly popular in Malayalam cinema during the 1980s and 1990s, with most notable films being Puchakuru Mukuti, Maza Payanu Madalam Katanu, Thalavadam, Velanakalud Nadu, Chithram, Vandanam, Kalukam, Abhimanu, Mithunam, Than Mavin Kambath, and Kala Pani. Other Malayalam actors he frequently collaborate are, Kuthiravadam Papu, Jagathi Srikumar, Innocent, Nedamudi Venu, Srinivasan, Sukumari, Mukesh and Mamakoya. Priyadarshan was one of the first directors in India to introduce rich colour grading, clear sound and quality dubbing through his early Malayalam films. He is known for adapting stories from Malayalam films into Bollywood, from his own work as well as other films. Most notable such Bollywood films include Hera Fairy, Hangama, Hulchal, Garam Masala, Bhagam Bhag, Chup Chup K, Dhol, and Bul Balaya. His multiple collaborations in Hindi include Tabu, Paresh Rawal, Akshay Kumar, Akshay Khanna, and Sunil Shetty. In 2007, his Tamil film Kanshivaram won the National Film Award for Best Feature Film. In 2012, the Government of India honoured him with Padma Shri, India's fourth highest civilian award for his contribution towards the arts. Priyadarshan has also directed many advertisement films. His most popular commercials are for Coca-Cola, American Express, Nokia, Parker Pens, Asian Paints, Kinley and Max New York Life Insurance. Personal life. Priyadarshan fell in love with popular actress Lissy and married her on 13 December 1990. After marriage, Lissy gave up acting and adopted the name Lakshmi for religious reasons. After the birth of their son, Lissy converted to Hindu religion from Arya Samaj. Their daughter Kalyani studied in New York City and son Siddharth studied in San Francisco. The couple got divorced in 2014. Film career Early work Born in Aleppi, Kerala, India on 30 January 1957 as the son of Soman Nair and Rajama. His house was in Ambalapuja, Alapuja. Priyadarshan received his education at Government Model School, Trivandrum and obtained a Master of Arts in Philosophy from University College Trivandrum. His father was a college librarian, it helped Priyadarshan to develop interest in books. He was a voracious reader during his teenage years, and during his study in college he started writing short plays and skits for All India Radio. He was influenced by the films of director P. Venu. His friends in those days included Mohanlal, M. G. Srikumar, Suresh Kumar, Sanal Kumar, Jagadish, Manayanpilla Raju and Ashok Kumar. It was then that Mohanlal entered in films. His friends followed him to Chennai, looking for a chance in films. Priyadarshan, with the help of Mohanlal, got a few chances to work as an assistant scriptwriter in a couple of films and started writing scripts, with some turning into success. Eventually, he had to come back to Kerala. In 1984, Priyadarshan, along with his close friends Suresh Kumar and Sanal Kumar, decided to produce a film as Shankar, the saleable hero, helped them in arranging finance from Tiruvenkadam, a top film financier. Mohanlal, who was by then a popular star, was selected as the parallel hero along with Shankar. Thus in 1984, Priyadarshan made his debut as director with Puchakoru Mukuti, which was a surprise hit. A slapstick comedy film shot on a low budget, it completed a successful run of 100 days in Kerala theatres. Film 
Topic: From 1984 to 1987. Priyan continued his fine form for slapstick comedy with the successful Odaradhamava Alarayam and he later made Ananam Kunal Oradi Kunal and the Mahmudi Shankar family thriller Pariyanumveya Pariyathirikanumveya. Then he made Panaram Chali Chali, his first film without Mohanlal. His successful stinct continued with Boeing Boeing and Aram plus Aram. Equals Kanaram, both doing wonderful business. He was later criticized for making Rikuyilin Rigasadasal, a film which was supposed to be made with Shankar and Manaka and many said the lead pair Mahmudi and Suhasini was miscast and in spite of hit songs, the film flopped. But Maza Peyanu Madalam Kotanu, Ailvasi Oru Deridravazi and Deem Therakita Tom became hits underlining his consistency. Priyan was accepted as a serious director with the highly successful tragic family drama Thalavadam. His Tamil entry was unlucky as the film Chinnamanikayal remained unreleased, nevertheless his Chepu was a success. <laughs> From 1988 to 1998 1988 was a landmark year in Priyadarshan's career. He directed Velanakalud Nadu, based on a script by Srinivasan, with Mohanlal in the lead role. This film revolved around corruption, land mafia and other social issues. This film ended up becoming the biggest hit in Priyadarshan's career to that point. Then came Aryan, an action film based on the Mumbai underworld, which completed 150 days in theatres. Chithram, Priyadarshan's all-time biggest hit, was also released in 1988. Chithram completed 366 days in theatres and created new records in collections, until they were broken by his own film, Kalukam in 1991. Oru Mudhasi Katha and Mukantheta Samitra Vilakunu completed his five releases of 1988. However, he couldn't deliver hits in 1990 with Kadathanadan Mbadi and Akaryakarayakari. In the year 1991, Priyadarshan brought out Kalukam with Mohanlal, Jagathi Srikumar and Ravathi in lead roles. Kalukam broke several collection records and is still considered one of the best films from the Priyadarshan Mohanlal team. His next three films, Abhimanu 1991, Advaitham 1992, and then Mavin Kambathu 1994, successfully completed 100 days in theatres. Both Midhunam 1993 and Minaram 1994 were able to make good response in cinemas. Meanwhile, Priyadarshan was invited by Shri. M. Karanadi to direct a film for his son's production house. Priyadarshan thus made his Tamil debut with Gopura Vaisalayal. In 1991 he also made a Telugu film Nirnayam when Nagarjuna approached him to remake his Malayalam film Vandanam in Telugu. In the year 1992, Priyadarshan made his debut in Bollywood with Muskurahat, again remake of his own Malayalam film Kalukam which ended up as a disastrous flop. In 1993, he made a comeback in Hindi with Gardish, an adaptation of the Malayalam film Kiridam, written by A. K. Lohathadas. Priyadarshan successfully added ingredients required for Hindi audiences and the film was a huge hit, opening the doors of Bollywood to him. In 1994, Priyadarshan directed his second and last Telugu film till date, Gandivam, starring Balakrishna. He was also assigned the direction of the Miss World 1996 event that was held in Bangalore, which made him a known face around the country. In 1996, Priyadarshan came up with his dream project, Kalapani, an epic period film based on Indian struggle for independence. With Mohanlal, Tabu, Prabhu Gainasan and Amrish Puri in main roles and outstanding music by Ilayaraha, Kalapani took Priyadarshan's career path to new heights. This film, which was originally filmed in Malayalam, was also dubbed and released in Tamil, Telugu and Hindi simultaneously. Kalapani brought him several awards for the first time in his career. In 1997, Priyadarshan directed two films, Chandralekha in Malayalam and Virasat a Hindi adaptation of Barathon's Tamil film Thavar Megan, both super hits. The success of Virasat made Priyadarshan a household name in Hindi cinema. Topic: 1998 to present. Equals. 
In the year 1998, Priyadarshan directed three films, Sat Rang K Sapni, remake of his own Than Mavin Kambathu, then Dali Saja K Rakhna, with story adapted from Fazil Zaniathi Pravu and Kabi Na Kabi, but all three bombed at the box office. Priyadarshan joined with Mamuti after a long gap in 1999 for Megam. During this period Priyadarshan received a couple of offers from Chiranjeevi and Nagarjuna, actors of Telugu industry to direct them, but declined them and moved on to his next Hindi project. In 1999, Hera Ferry was released in Hindi, which for once and all changed the destiny of Priyadarshan in Bollywood. Hera Ferry, an adaptation of the Malayalam film Ramjirao Speaking 1989, was a huge hit at the box office. Starring Akshay Kumar, Sunil Shetty, Tabu and Paresh Rawal, this film is now considered a landmark in the history of Hindi cinema. The film also gave birth to the Priyadarshan Akshay Kumar team, which in later years produced several hits. After Hera Ferry, Paresh Rawal became another regular face in Priyadarshan films. This film was followed by a series of films in Hindi including Ye Tera Gar Ye Mera Gar, Hangama, Hulchal, Garam Masala, and Kian Ki. In the year 2000, Priyadarshan directed the Malayalam Tamil bilingual Rakilapatu in Tamil starring Tabu and Jyotika, with story adapted from the Marathi film Bindhast, an experimental film with all female characters, which was critically well received. The original plan was to release both versions simultaneously, but due to unknown reasons the Malayalam version was delayed and the Tamil version released first. The Malayalam as well as the dubbed Hindi version, Friendship, released only seven years later in 2007. Priyadarshan's English-language epic period film titled The Last Revolutionary produced by 20th Century Fox, based on the life of Indian freedom fighter Chandrasekhar Azad was supposed begin filming in 2001, but the project was shelved due to unknown reasons. During this period, Tamil actor Kamal Hassan was working on his ambitious film, Anbi Saivam. After finishing the script, Kamal Hassan approached Priyadarshan to direct the film. The pre-production commenced, but after some differences of opinion between the director and the actor, Priyadarshan opted out from the project before the first schedule. This sudden setback led to the whole crew to run out of their schedules. Hence, the producers after convincing Kamal Hassan, quickly roped in Sundar, C to direct the film. Priyadarshan's two films in Malayalam, Kilachundan Mampajam and Vedam released in 2003 and 2004 respectively, were commercial disappointments, which made him concentrate more in Bollywood. But at the same time, in Hindi, Priyadarshan continued his successful run with Chup Chup K, Bhagam Bhag, Malamal Weekly, Dhol, Bhul Balaya, Dadena Dan and Mir Baap Pella Aap. But his subsequent films Bilu, Bum Bum Bol, Kata Mita, Akrush and Tez failed to live up to the expectations. His most recent release Rangrez also failed at the box office. In the meantime, Priyadarshan stunned everyone with Kanchivaram, an offbeat film that revolved around the weavers in Kanchipuram. Prakash Raj, who played the central character, won the National Film Award for Best Actor in 2008. Kanchivaram also won accolades at several film festivals. Priyadarshan returned to Malayalam films directing the Mohanlal starrer, Arabim Otakam P. Madhavan Nayaram in Oru Marubumikada. The 2013 film Jithanjali starring Mohanlal as Dr. Sunny Joseph, and the 2014 film Amayam Muyalam did not do well at the box office. In late 2015, Priyadarshan announced a crime thriller film in Malayalam, with Mohanlal in the lead role. The production was confirmed and the title Opam was announced in December 2015. The director started working on the film ahead of another big-budget film starring Mohanlal, which was delayed due to unfavorable weather in Russia, where the film was supposed to be shot. The screenplay and dialogues are written by Priyadarshan himself which is based on the story by debutante writer Gavind Vijayan. The film released to positive reviews and emerged as a blockbuster, beating several records and becoming the highest-grossing Malayalam film of the year within 16 days of release. Filmography Awards Priyadarshan has won awards both from the state and central government for his movies. His offbeat film Kanshivaram was adjudged the best feature film at the 2007 National Film Awards. 
He made a period epic film titled Kaalapani, in Malayalam, which told the story of freedom fighters in the jail at Andaman and Nicobar Islands. It starred Mohanlal, Tabu, Prabhu Gainasan, and Amrish Puri, and received four National Film Awards, including awards for Santosh Savan cinematography and Sabu Cyril art direction. The film was dubbed and released in other languages such as Tamil, Telugu and Hindi. Civilian Awards 2012 Padma Shri National Film Awards 2007 Best Film, Kanchivaram Filmfare Awards South 2009 Filmfare Award for Best Director, Tamil, Kanchivaram Kerala State Film Awards 1994 Kerala State Film Award for Best Film with Popular Appeal and Aesthetic Value, Than Mavin Kombath 1995 Kerala State Film Award for Second Best Film, Kala Paniasianet Film Awards 2008 Special Honor Jury Award for Outstanding Contribution to Indian Cinema Jehind TV Film Awards 2010 Jehind Rajat Mudra Award Asiavision Awards 2016 Best Director, Opam <laughs>